Hello and welcome back to M Hub Inside. Uh, Happy New Year. Thank you for coming back and continue to watch our wonderful videos. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a, not a recap, but a revisit. Some projects that we did last year that we want to see how they're faring and if we should continue to utilize those things. Uh, so the two things on the docket are the ways covers that I've put in for the M that I built. And then we're also going to touch off on the lathe ATC catcher to see one or two little upgrades that I did there and see how that's faring. Um, so just as a reminder, the old system that is uh, installed on these machines is an accordion style baffle that likes to degrade quite severely. Um, and things like, actually it's funny, there's a bolt in here from when it was disassembled and it's been living in a drawer for a while. Um, so you can see stuff gets caught in here. It's kind of a pain to clean. It, as it crinkles and things don't flood out, uh, it just tears itself and it isn't very easy to get on and off and very not, not very easy to clean either. So, um, if you come and take a look in the machine, this is actually a member job, they're in the middle of it. Uh, we stopped them to film this. We're gonna double check to see under here. So you can actually see that big old ball, that wasn't us, that's just how it was able to, um, to, to bundle itself so that we can just, I'm just gonna, you can see, now that's all clear. Um, the same thing with the front here is a lot easier to just spray off everything seems to fall off and this hard cover is, is nice because if you drop something heavy while loading in these in and out of these big vices um, you're less likely to damage the ways this way so um, there might be a slight jump cut just because taking this out but if you want to go to the side I'm going to see if I can get that off real quick and you'll see the live footage of how it looks underneath the ways cover uh. okay I'm back So, let's see how this looks. A little wash down. You can see how easy that cleans off. And there's a little bit built up here, which I was kind of expecting. There's a little bit built up here, but there's nothing really on the ways. And uh, there's no rust whatsoever that I can see. So we're getting plenty of lubrication down there. I'm fine with this. I'm happy with this. Um, I might try and devise a system so this gets taken out a little bit better, or I just have to go through once a week and maybe take away that compression. But uh, in general, that part looks fantastic. And let's take a look at the front. Yeah, I would say that's definitely no worse than the baffle and a lot easier to clean. Uh, you can see this isn't rusty at all. And I have it riding on some 3D prints, which is why you can see there's some scrape marks there. Um, but in general, I'm totally happy with this. Um, so if anybody has any comments they'd like to leave in the, the down below about this, I'd love to hear them. I don't know a whole lot about ways or anything, but uh, I'm gonna get this button back up and then we'll uh, take a look at the lathe project. Okay, so to revisit this project, I needed to make a parts catcher of some kind for some itty bitty little parts that we were making that were getting lost in a bunch of stainless steel down here, and I didn't feel like cutting up my fingers. Uh, so what I ended up developing, I tried a couple of different ideas where I was gonna do um, a, a motion capture, something that came out and like caught, but there's not a lot of room in here. Uh, so what I ended up doing or devising was a parts catcher that actually lived on the turret um, that all the parts were cut off inside. You still had some tiny chips during the cutoff that got in there, um, but in general, I've used it twice, it was fantastic. There is a slight V2, 
Um, so the issues with this one, the walls I made were a little bit too thin. I also did it at an ABS, um, which the coolant in the oil and the, or the oil and the coolant attacked it a little bit. So these arms actually broke off. As you can see, they're kind of missing. Um, so the windows that were on there um, obviously did not stay very well. So you can see like they did stay when they slid in, but there's nothing to keep them in because there's no top here. Uh, so on V2, I made that a little thicker. And then I also did it out of a different 3D printing material. So this is nylon 12 on our SLS printer, which the coolant should not attack. Uh, so this one should last a lot longer. And then I also updated some of the hole positioning and stretched it just a little bit. So as you can see, one of the windows I had to modify slightly so that it would sit back here and be fully closed uh, because of the bolts that I was using at the time. Um, but in general, this is fantastic. Uh, this one failed in the middle printed this one, continued on, and I'm very, very happy with this design. Um, if I do end up coming with something that does move into place, I will definitely let you know. I, I'm also thinking about experimenting with the style that moves from the bottom, or the cutoff tool is actually mounted down here with a longer cylinder. And when I get the chance to make that, I will inform you of such a project. Um, thank you guys for joining us in the new year for happy 2022, 2023, excuse me. Um, Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification icon. Let us know anything you'd like to see down at the bottom. Have a great day.